Great Britain has a, a strong Christian heritage, but the reality is that Britain today has become a secular country. It's probably about 97% of the population do not know Jesus as Lord and Saviour. Well, since 1922, the FIEC has sought to enable independent churches to work together to support each other. And the FIEC enables those churches to have a collective national vision, to work together in the common goal of reaching Great Britain with the good news of the gospel. FIEC is on mission, and our mission is to reach our nation with the good news of Jesus Christ. Beneath it's a valley town, uh, people are really friendly, but it's hard, you know, people are hardened to the gospel. So we believe that it's important to meet people where they're at. We started an outreach service, and all kinds of people come in, they can meet us and they can hear the gospel really clearly. We've had uh, new people every week and non-Christians here every week, so it's been really exciting. I've been one for debate and listening to people all my life, I enjoy that. Ever since I came in that first day, I've carried on coming. You know, they're a very friendly group, they're honest, and I enjoy hearing about the God. Just down the road in Cardiff, Cabalva Baptist, they lend us their apprentices. Uh, on a Wednesday, they come and help us for the lunch time meeting, and they're amazing guys who come and do the gospel work. So it's been, yeah, it's amazing to have that partnership, you know. The, the Sending Church Mount Pleasant have been fantastic. We've, we've worked really hard on keeping that relationship, and that's been, that's been incredible. The members there have been so generous. It's been really encouraging, a bit of a change um, going from a bigger church in Mount Pleasant to the smaller plant here. It's been really encouraging to see uh, people coming into the church. We really want to see people coming to know Jesus Christ. Mulva is a great town, beautiful area, forests, fields, and lots of people who need to hear about Jesus. Christians in Mulva living here were traveling out to churches in other towns. We began to talk with these people living in Mulva. Could we work together to plant a church? We used to meet in the back room of a pub, actually, <laughs> when we first started, just once a month. But things are growing and it's been a wonderful place where we can start to bring our neighbours as well. That's been important for us. We didn't have just one sending church, but we were a partnership of, of three different FIC supporting churches. And I don't think any of these churches could have done this by themselves, but actually as three churches we, we could do it. The church has gradually grown. I would hope that we can raise our profile within the, the town of Marlborough more. We'd love to see Soul saved and we'd love to see the church mature. It's a real encouragement to be part of FIC for the people here and to know that they're part of something bigger. So we've just been meeting people in the community, letting them know who we are, where we are, and just letting them know simply they're welcome to come along to church. People are kind of just open to us talking to them, actually. And so we've had a number of people saying they'd love to come along to church. One lady in particular asking, you know, a little bit more about where we are. We need people coming out of the church to reach the community because a lot of people like don't go to church, need to get closer to God. I'd wholeheartedly encourage churches that are not doing this sort of ministry uh, to, to think about getting involved because actually it's just a signpost saying uh, this is where we are and I think it also just helps people to, to recognise that actually Christians are just ordinary people. We look at the strategic areas where we need to be planting. We encourage churches, maybe churches local to those areas, to get involved. Every location is unique. It's not a case that we at FIC take something off the shelf and say, here it is, here is a church planting model. But rather we'll go in and say, well, let's look at the community you are trying to reach. We have an assessment tool. We provide some startup funds. And of course, there is the support, not only of myself as mission director, but other directors from the FIEC and other FIEC church leaders. We need to grow many more churches. We need to plant new churches to be working together. If we're even to begin to reach our nation with the good news of the gospel. A gospel family working together for the glory of God and for the good of our nation. <laughs>